G'day all. Uh, the last couple of months I've had numerous inquiries if I would be able to take the time to explain how these super burners work and what the steps are to make one. So um, I hope I can get across in this video how they work and what they're used for. As you'll see, most um, Metho spirit burners have a breather tube, oh, sorry, a breather hole on the filler cap. These super burners, you don't have a hole on the filling cap. And to construct one, what you need, you need the body, copper or brass, anything that you've got hanging around, and you need um, fiberglass wick for these. You can't use um, a cloth, cotton or anything else because it will eventually burn out and you won't be able to replace it. The fiberglass wick lasts forever. What you need to do is start off in here, coil the fiberglass wick in here, bring it before you solder the copper tube, bring the fiberglass wick through your copper tube, down and out. Cut the fiberglass wick here, crimp that very hard, and then silver braze that. You, de you, need, you can't just uh, soft solder there, you need to silver braze that one. Then you drill a half inch, um, uh, sorry, a half a millimetre, not a, don't, whatever you do, drill a bloody half inch hole, which is pretty obvious you can't. It's a half a millimetre hole. It's got to be a very fine hole just on the about, you might be able to see that's about five mils back. Then you bend that curve in there and you aim that hole at the copper. So the idea is that flame aims at the copper and it preheats the methylated spirits coming along there and vaporizes it. And that's what causes the super burner to have that roaring noise. So I'll just light them up. I'm going to turn the light off and I'll just show you how they work. So there's a bit of a spill there, but you'll see they don't, that spill was from me. Wait for that to burn off. So ignore that spill, now you've got the super burner working. Now I'll turn the light back on for a sec. So what's happening is that's blowing out of that hole and it's vaporised because it's heating up that part of the copper. So the methylated spirits is getting absorbed along the fibreglass wick, getting superheated here, turning into a vapour and emitting there in a vapour. So I'll just turn that off. You can hear that roaring. That's how the super burner works. Blow that one out. I like this one. So it's, you'll hear it start to vaporize that metho. straight away now it's vaporized and you can hear that roaring this is a, a smaller mo smaller model holds a little bit less metho now the heat that these put out is a lot more than one of these a lot more and there we have it the super burner honestly it's about an hour an hour or so to make one of them and uh, they're just a different burner for different applications straight away you see this will jump across in a minute as soon as it gets hot there we go jumped over as the methylated spirits gets vaporized and you can hear it roaring can't see it with the light on but you can still hear it
okay that's how the super burner works so again get your copper pipe feed your fiberglass wick material right through both ends have this end coiled out so you've got a fair bit in here to soak up the methylated spirits because it goes through some metho once you've got that coiled in there solder this part crimp that off really hard cut your fiberglass wick material there cut that crimp it hard silver braze it drill a half a millimetre hole in there bend this have the jet aimed at that curve you can see that curve just move this out of the way have that jet there aimed about that direction there so the flame initially starts to get that copper hot once that gets hot enough it'll vaporize the metho and the metho will come down here in a vapor get erupted and it's just self repeating and it'll just keep going until your reservoir is empty that's a smaller one um, again no air holes you've got it, it it just works by suction it'll just it'll as that's blowing out it'll just keep sucking the metho through no air holes um, once you've got this in a boiler, like in a um, in the firebox, because this gets hotter, it will really raw. So they're they're a, they're a hot boiler, a, a hot burner, a lot hotter than when, what you're used to. So keep an eye on it. Um, simple and effective super burners. So I hope that answers the queries that I've been getting, and. Um, have a go at making one really simple and uh, again as always appreciate the views appreciate the likes and uh, appreciate the feedback thank you bye now